Hello, my name is Haley Brownlee, and I will be sharing a brief overview of my life detection knowledge base entry, Motion of Cell-like Features. The life detection knowledge base is a database created to compile peer-reviewed arguments and evidence of potential biosignatures for the detection of life in extraterrestrial environments. It provides convenient access to information about biosignatures to consider for mission planning and for research. So why is it important to understand motion for life detection? Well, essentially, understanding and exploring life on our own planet allows us to understand the possibilities and intricacies of life beyond. So what do we understand about motion on Earth? There's movement through an environment, internal motion, abiotic motion, and abiotic influences that induce motion. So structures such as flagella and cilia are used by motile organisms to physically move through an environment, while non-motile organisms are capable of movement via external factors and have also demonstrated movement through a process called hitchhiking. Internal motion occurs to perform basic functions within a, an organism, such as vesicle transport, cytoplasmic streaming, and cell division. There are abiotic influences that induce motion, and that would include environmental factors such as light, which induces phototaxic motion, for example. It's also important to consider abiotic motion such as Brownian motion, where the submicroscopic bombardment of particles causes cells to appear to vibrate. Looking forward and when adding more to the life detection knowledge base, it may be useful to add in specific research on the motion of extremophiles that would be more geared toward the conditions that we're looking to explore. For example, when considering the environmental conditions of Mars, it may be useful to examine the motion of halophiles and psychrophiles, along with radiation-resistant organisms such as Dinococcus. Thank you so much to the Blue Marble Space Institute of Science Young Scientist Program and to my amazing mentor, Dr. Graham Lau. Thank you.